guys. Gonna fit the chain. Well, that's a sod. I've got the chain on, and I've got a file error. So I don't know what it's got. I'm not pulling it off to do it again. Uh, I basically use the bent wire. I haven't got the back wheel in yet. Fiddled it through. Dropped it onto the top of the sprocket. Turned the sprocket till it came out the bottom. Hooked my wire up through the bottom. Grabbed it and pulled it through. So now I've got most of the chain here. And I'm just about to put the wheel in. Another downside to using this um, lift. <laughs> the wheel's too high so I have to physically lift it. So with a bit of luck, I've shoved a bit of wood under. That should lift it so high. Right, handy bits. A little spacer washer. The uh, spacer what goes into the speedo drive. That's a pain. The adjuster. Other adjuster, which I'll probably fiddle in a minute. Got my split link and my spindle, all handy. And I've definitely lost a washer. Which I'll have to find. I'll get another one. Right. I am there, my speedo cable putting on, and my spindle shoving through. Finger through the hole, hold them together, and then hopefully, might go straight in. Yeah, I might have it there. I think it's engaged first time, which is a good one. Together. Right, I'm going to pack the wheel up a bit more, sort out my spaces. Right, I've got the, uh, I've sorted my spindle out, put the washers on, found another washer for that. I'm going to dangle the chain a little bit. Pull it through a bit. I've slackened the uh, adjusters right the way off so I can push the wheel all the way forward. Right. Just clip that on for now. Right. 
guys. Oh my god. about right the that's right for a week as I say so I want one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven fourteen fifteen links and I'm counting halves each pin if you like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oops. So now I'm going to get my old chain so I can pull this one through. I did say 15, didn't I? <laughs> Go through there again. That's there. Pull the chain tight. Wants to be that one there. So if I count them. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, including me all. Right. Now it's shorten the chain. Right. Here's my old chain. We still come together. Fifteen links out of this one. Right, there's quite a few ways of shortening a chain. But I'm just going to do it with the grinder and a punch. Uh, I'll just nip it there for a minute. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That one off. I'm just going to use my grinder and I'm going to grind through both of them on that plate. Double check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So and I'll just move this a little bit. I've zoomed in a little bit, hopefully it's still in focus. So that's them two, that's the 15th. So I'm just going to go right through.
a little bit. Right, I'm halfway through the plates, so I'm just going to continue. I'm down to the plate, I should say. Yeah. So I'm going to grind, keep continue grinding till I'm about halfway through this plate. What it is, I don't want any flare on the pin. If there's any flare on, and I try to drive them through or push them through. They're going to mark the bearing on the inside of the other link. The link I want. So I'm going to continue grinding until basically I can't see a join. I've gone overkill. Right, so we can see how far I've ground right through, so, so you can't see any pin at all. But sometimes I just using poo. I'll just see if I can prise that off, might be able to. So you sometimes can. I'll tap this off, I don't need this half of the chain. Just fall apart. Handy. There we go. And still hot. Yes, if you. Yes, if you don't grind the link, ah, <laughs> still hot. It gets stuck in here and if you look I'll use the colder end there's a bearing in here and you really you don't want it to be scroped as you drive that out so if you grind well through that link as you see it just pulls apart it just drops apart if you've got a stubborn one it's usually this end Grind them right off on a slightly open vise. Not so much this one, so this one's only attached to a door. But open enough to allow the pins through. Put the pin in and then get someone to hold the chain and then drive them through with a punch or a pin. Uh, but as I say, the more you grind off, the better. And obviously don't catch the half of the chain that you're using. And don't mistake this for a split link. Right, put the chain back on now. Hopefully it's the right length. Right, 
it's the same thing. This is the old split link, by the way. Right through. split link that's good lube on this dead sticky oh look it's the right size there's a road link How much problem? Yeah. There we go, that's it. I think I've mentioned before, if you look at the way these are stamped out, there's a sharp edge and a rounder edge. I just put the sharp edge out and it's the same on the uh, on the horseshoe there's a sharper edge and you'll find there'll be a round edge and again sharp edge out it's very subtle but there's definitely a difference And obviously closed end direction of rotation. Where's my pliers? Well, hardly needs adjusting that. Right, I'll go and put these couple of files in my computer. Right, I'm just going to uh, Don't want that too tight. Right, that's as far as it will go that way. Right, I'm just going to run these up. Actually, that's not bad at all, that. Give you a little turn. Well, that'll do. No need to do it any more than that. Obviously, once it's done a few miles. The uh, the lube will drop off, so that's feeling a bit tight now. But the lube will come off, and uh, I usually have through the other way, and I'm lifting rather than pushing. Right. The uh, I'm gonna find my clevers pin where to put it.
Right, so um, now we can apply the brake and tighten the uh, nut on the clutch. Right, I'm just going to put this off. Plug some Loctite around the shaft. And give it a tighten. I better put it in gear. Oh no, I don't have to put it in gear, silly sod. Like that bit of silicon off, I'm just scraped out. Nice, I'll do for it. Couple of duds, and then I'm going to put some in the nut. Flat side of the nut inwards. when you get God, too, I'm in my own light how much trouble Apply the brake and give it a tighten. Oops. Just get some more grips. Right, I'm just going to grab that off, grab the nut, just fold one of these over. And that will do. Just the one, that's all it needs. All right. Right, that'll do for that. So, uh, next part, that's the chain on. Great. And I think I'll put the clutch on in the next video. Right, I 
that's about it. So I've got the chain on, sprocket on, tight, crimped. Well, that's all that needs to be done now is uh, clutch on. I've got new gasket, new gasket. Uh, foot rests and exhausts, and then the uh, job done. Then I'll just have to take it for a ride. And then we'll have a look at knackered stuff. I'll just leave that there for now. Right. Uh, well, I'll stick this together and see if I can get it uploaded. Right, bye!